Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of like thought process of what I think of when I go to build a Bloxburg room or a house. So the first thing you normally got to think of when you go to build a house, you normally got to think of the style, how big, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, what all you want to have in the house. Is it going to be open? Is it going to be closed off? That's the only what you got to think of. But when you start building, you want to have it a good ways away from the plot. Because if you have it up here, like right up here, then say I do this and I want a little garden out front. I'm only going to be able to do about that big of a garden. And then this all is the only bit that I'm going to be able to have grass. Now that doesn't really look the best. I mean, I when I build a house, I only build off what do I think I would see in real life. Like what I drive past, or when I'm in the car with my mother, what I see. So I see a lot of traditional homes and a good amount of modern homes. So say you're building a traditional home, you want a lot of curves. Not a lot of curves. You want a lot of indents and like outings like this. So this is the normal like area I go for kind of when I start my builds. Obviously I do like 10 back in the plot but since this won't end up being a speed build or anything I'm just going to do it 5 away from the plot. And then I decide off this. I normally go inside and I'm like okay. This needs to be over one more. No. See, I normally struggle with like this. I would probably, if I was doing a speed build right now, put that over like this. Put the stairs here. And then move that back one more because that is really tiny. And then I have to go outside and fix this. That's kind of... That's more of like a really smaller family home. But you want to do more like the layout while you're building the house. Like here could be a little bathroom. This could be, this is the entry. So over here we could have like the kitchen, dining room going into the, with the bathroom also. And this is more like a family townhome. But we will need to also think about the style. What kind of style are you going for while you're building your home? Are you wanting a modern style home? If you're wanting a modern home, you shouldn't really use the traditional windows because modern in the modern homes, you normally see these big windows like this, like get a bunch of views into your home. But I don't really like that. That's my opinion, so I don't normally build in that style. And there's a whole bunch of modern windows and Bloxburg. Like you got these big ones, except building a nicer family home. I could do beautiful views into the living room. And then say you're doing a traditional vibe. Okay, so I got a traditional house right here. Let me fix the walls. Now, this is going to be the center part of your house. Wherever you put the front door is the center part of your house. This is where your staircase is probably going to go. This is where your entry is. So you want to have like more of like a nicer window here. I'm not saying you have to use this one. Maybe you want to do this. Or if you're still going for the traditional vibe, you can mix windows together. This is what I normally do. On my builds, I add like windows together to make bigger traditional windows for my front entries. But let's put a nicer window down. Let's do the curved window. For this house, I would more see a curved window. Then to add a little bit of detail into your house, you want some sh um, shutters. This is normally what you see on a traditional house. You only see shutters, a nicer window for the entry. Now for traditional homes, there's a lot of home doors for the traditional side of the Bloxburg community. 
we have the tra traditional front door, French door I mean, we have the normal front door, you see that a lot on homes, but I typically use that, but I am starting to use this, it looks kind of traditional too, and it just brings out my style more, so I would normally put like this door here. I like the look of that. Then you gotta think, do you want a garage on your home? If you want a garage on your house, say you have the whole downstairs floor plan done. Like say that's going back like that, then it comes up again up here. Just thinking of random floor plans, random fronts of a house. And say it's starting to look like that. That actually looks good in some circumstances and then like you don't really have to do this but I like the floor in an area and put a garden there like decorate it like you see in like you seen in the video with my dream home and then I have these bushes from Christmas that I'd probably normally sprinkle around here if this wasn't a speed build sprinkle them around to have some more light into the build then I go into the gardening section and I would grab plants make that beautiful and then grab some maybe flowers when I do my homes now another tip I have is don't repeat the same thing on your home like you want struck like see how this is one block out you might want that two blocks out because you can put like a different window there and just experiment when you're going to make your home because this home you probably won't change for a while. So you want to like put more effort into it and not just throw it together. So in my opinion this is a pretty decent home. But say you're going for a modern home. Let's clear the plot real quick. Say you're going for a modern home, you want more of like wide open walls, like say 4x4 four four there, then maybe it come back and have another 4, and like that goes up and everything, good. Now when you do, I don't really build modern homes, so I've built modern homes before but not the best I've seen. So there's a couple modern doors that we are provided with for the modern side of the Bloxburg community. We have the tall frosted front door, which in my opinion is not really as good as it used to be since this door came out. And then we also have the single doors, but I won't really place them. We have the thousand dollar tall glass double door. Now in my opinion, if I was going to build this house for a speed build or something and it was modern, I would use this. Because I like a lot of woods and wood in my builds. So I'd probably use that. But if you're going from like an open glass home, you would want this door. So this door would go more with the vibe of let me get the windows. Like this, like, you're a very modern person. You don't, you might be a kind of a fan of traditional, but you ain't the biggest. You're more like modern in your homes. So you'd add like modern windows, bigger stuff. And then you would keep like adding windows. I don't know why my windows don't load, but you do something like that. See, now that's just like, in real life, I don't really like a lot of open, I do like open space, but like not this. Like, I don't want my neighbors to be able to just look into my house. So that's why I don't really like modern. But if you're doing modern homes, that's really what I suggest. And then like, they also look really good, like you see in pictures and everything. On a mountain. So say you're building a mountain, just go with like the flow, just let your say you're on mobile let your finger guide you but if you're on computer then just let your mouse let your hand just go 
I don't know really how to explain it, but that's what I would do if I was building a modern home for a speed build. I reference it a lot to a speed build, I'm sorry. But, like, I'd probably do that for the living room. And then, like, I'd have the front door more up here. Or probably more back, about there. I, like, you're probably wondering if, like, your more experienced blocks would build. Or how is this even possible in real life? That's what I ask myself a lot. Is this going to be structurally actually possible? Or is this just not even structurally possible in real life? So, in the game, I would take these big pillars... And I would put them under here. And I would probably blend them in with the texture of the mountain. So it didn't really look so obvious. And then with windows. Since this is like going to be the centerpiece. Because if you're doing this in your house. This is the centerpiece. So you would want these big gaping windows. Because this would be your living room. So you probably change the grid. And put it up here. Like that. See. That doesn't look too bad to me. It just gets, like, with the minimalistic, because I like the filled rooms. I like a lot of clutter. See? Because, like, when I'm building a table, like a dining table, I like a lot of chairs. Like a lot of chairs around my dining table. This is not a dining table. I like a lot of chairs, like, fully filled. I like, um, where is it again? I like placemats, and if you're doing modern homes, that just really ain't good, because you want more of a minimalistic vibe and not so cluttered. Okay, now, I'm not this lazy. I will delete this by hand. But, when you really build your home, it just goes off of what your most style is. Like I said, mine's traditional. And say you're wanting like a river, like maybe a pond around your house. I like to do this a lot. I did a lot before I started this channel. I would like fence off. Like, okay, there's the front door. I want a garden. So right there and then maybe three. And then I would do like a little bridge across. I'd build a custom bridge. And I'd align that with the front door. Another thing I like at homes, I feel like I'm just talking a lot, but that's really what this video is about. Is the front door, I like it more aligned with the staircase, because in my dream homes and the homes I imagine I'd live in, my staircase would be right at the front entrance. And when you're building mansions, this is more going off topic, but when you build mansions, I don't, in my personal opinion, I see like a lot of people do this, because like they don't really know what to do, but they want a really big home. And then, yeah, this is good, but when you come to decorating it and everything else and say you're going for another modern vibe again, you have to fill this up and it's just going to cost way more money than it should if you were to just, say, build a smaller home. Build a smaller wall, I mean. Yeah, and, like, look how much space that clutters up. And we all should really know the color palette for modern, but I'll place it down just in case. So there's one wall, there's two, there's three. There's really just basically three colors for it. I would have to say the dark stone gray, the linen with for the floors, not that, okay. And then more of like that. That's what I would use if I built a more of a modern home. Now... Another thing that Bloxburg added in was chimneys. Now, let me go to roofs. Now, chimneys really bring character to your build. Like, when I look at a house, I start at the roof, which is normally on, like, the third floor. I start from the roof, and I look down. And you gotta really have, like, things. My friend is here. You gotta have more things that pop out your eye. So you would want like a chimney, a nice, I normally go for older like style chimneys, we have the large stone chimney in case you're building like a bigger family home, or say you're building more of like a town home, that's what I'd use. I use this for like starter homes if I still want a chimney on my starter home. I don't really use this, but then this I would see good for like say you're building a power plant. Like, you're that more outgoing, 
Locksburg Builder. Now that is a lot of money. I'm just gonna back that. Ooh, my 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 friend gave me ten thousand dollars. I am very thankful. I'm going broke in this video. But that's kind of all the tips I really have for building. Just okay. Another tip I have is don't build really big rooms. Like that's basically what I just said. Like don't build this size. Um, this size for your living room. Because when you start to decorate, you really notice the size. Like, say you're using a table for your TV. Place down this table. Not that table. This table. Obviously, it's center in. And my friend has this problem. Not It's not a problem. It's just she has so much XX space, she just doesn't know what to do with it. So you use couches and carpets. Like, try to shrink the room because... You basically just, you basically did the outside of the house before you frame the inside. And that's what I see stray a lot of Bloxburg builders. But that's really all I have to say for tips on building. I know it wasn't really the best video, but it was a quick video I wanted to throw together just to say my opinion and what I think looks good on Bloxburg Homes. Like, another example. If you're building a traditional home, now this is just like my anxiety talking here. I don't have anxiety, it's just like, when it comes to building, you would think I have anxiety. Because everything needs to be symmetrical and perfect. So say you're building a traditional home. You don't want to place down these modern windows. Like, they just don't fit in with the traditional vibe. You want to place traditional windows. And the same goes for when you're building a modern home. Yeah, I feel like you're not wanting to go for an outrageous modern home, just like modern features and everything. Then, yeah, go for these windows. But if you're building, like, an outgoing modern home, you don't want to use these windows because they just look too traditional and... But say you're the kind of builder who hashtag is me and hates the work. Like you just want to build and don't want to work. Now, I'm not, I don't use this advice, okay? I don't, I'm not good at using this piece of advice. Use the cheaper windows. They look just as good as you'll see the new, brand new windows look. Like these windows, these are cute. I will use them. But I just immediately go for the traditional windows because that's what I started Bloxburg off using. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, I gotta answer my friend because she has spam calling me right now. But thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the last video not getting any volume and not hearing me, I guess. But. You're probably tired of me talking, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a good day. Bye!